In this new tutorial, you will learn how to use the constraints to position a view, how to vary the constraints on different size classes. The constraints allow you to position a view in respect of another view. By using the constraints, you will be able to define the view behavior in respect of the device screen. You can set the side constraints, top, left, bottom, right, the size of the view, the parent alignment, horizontal or vertical parent center. For example, if you want to put a square view in the middle of the screen, you can set the width and the height of the view. Then put the horizontal and vertical alignment constraints. In the size inspector, you can view, edit, or remove the added constraints. Once you press on the edit constraint button, you can manage the constraint values. The constant is the constraint value. This is exactly the size, or the margin, you have set. The priority, let you to add two concurrent constraints on the same constraint type. Assume that we want to put a view with a full width size on the smartphone, but we want to limit the width on larger devices. We have to put the left, and right constraints, to allow the view to expand till the side margins. Only with this constraints, the view will expand also on larger screens till the margin. Let's add the width constraint. We will modify the width constraint to be small, or equal, to the maximum value you want, in this example 500. Moreover, since now we have more constraints in collision, we have to give a priority to the constraint. We want to give maximum priority to the maximum width, and less priority to the margin constraints. Let's see now how to modify the constraints for different size classes. The four size classes defined in iOS are, Compact Width, All the Smartphones, Except the iPhone 8 Plus, Regular Width, All the Tablets, The iPhone 8 Plus, Compact Height, All the Smartphones in Landscape Mode, Regular Height, all the tablets and the smartphones in portrait mode. When you want to change some constraints for a given class, at the bottom of the storyboard screen, you'll have to set your target device and orientation. Then, you have to press on the very four trails button. You can then define the class based on the width, height, or both. Once you press on variation, you can view all the devices that belongs to the defined class that will be affected by the change. During the class modification, the bottom view will be blue. Here you can change the view position and constraints. You can also delete them. Once done, you can press on the done varying button. If you want to receive other tutorial like this, subscribe to this channel.